hello guys uh, the trade of india uh, with those of agriculture commodity started in during 15th centuries uh, one common interesting story is that the trade of uh, spices which has a very long back history so during this uh, 14th and 15th centuries uh, there were a huge demand for uh, spices because uh, european countries have been using uh, spices for uh, mm, as a preservative for uh, meat and meat products so uh, the arab dows has been used as a middleman to procure the uh, uh, spices from uh, different parts of the world uh, through uh, sea route and from sea they have been using land routes to uh, to european countries so uh, during that times they were importing large number of uh, commodities i mean they have been trading uh, so that time there were no airlines so every uh, commodity has been transported through the ship and they brought back so the uh, they were uh, procuring this uh, spices from sri lanka but um, during that time so the arabian dows has been using the egyptian sea route and from there uh, mediterranean and from mediterranean sea to syria and then constantinople through uh, uh, transport land transport they have been shifting this uh, commodities but during 1453 what had happened is that ottoman empire has captured that and uh, they have blocked the sea uh, trading route uh, that is the land route so the european nations are in greater demand of uh, spices so they need to find uh, some other new routes uh, to uh, procure uh, uh, spices not only from sri lanka but also from other parts of the world so they tried to find new sea route from uh, to procure uh, this commodities so what had happened uh, during the times columbus uh, columbus has been uh, sent on to find the best sea route to uh, to some other countries but he had found uh, uh, some of the vegetable like uh, tomato and potatoes rather than find some uh, spices so after that uh, the uh, vasco da gama who went on uh, finding the route and he met a sailor a indian sailor in mozambico and from then uh, they they landed on to gujarat and from there they have found the spices world of india that is the malabar coast so after that the trade has uh, carried out from europe to uh, malabar coast that is the kerala which is known as uh, the king and uh, the spices world so uh, that is how the story has began uh, with the the trade of uh, spices with uh, india and europe so some of the top importing and exporting countries of spices are listed here you can see this are the top 5 uh, exporting countries of spices as well as the countries like uh, uh, the uh, united arab emirates and uh, uh, united kingdom they are also involved in uh, any import of spices uh, also, uh, rather than of uh, exporting them so these are the top 5 countries of uh, import and exporters of uh, spices so uh, why we need to uh, study about the rivelled comparative advantage here comes our the main ca- chapter so the rivelled comparative advantage it is based on uh, the ricardian theory so based on the uh, index we can uh, calculate the competitiveness of a country in a particular product okay so whether the ca- the country is really competitive in uh, exporting the commodity with the rest of the world or whether it has a uh, it does not uh, a comparative advantage when compared to the world so uh, balasa during 1967 has, car- has framed this uh, index so this index uh, is nothing but it it reveals the share uh, that is how much competitive a product from country j is exported to other countries so uh, the index ranges from 0 to infinite and uh, the country which is having comparative advantage would have a value greater than unity so it it could be in, in interpreted uh, easily so the interpretations are very easy yeah. but uh, that the, the problem is that uh, if there are any trade barriers or non tariff barriers which are imposed on the countries then uh, probably the rca might be a, a little deviations so uh, apart from this there are some other problems like homogeneity and other interpretation problems so the rivelled symmetric comparative advantage the concept has been introduced uh, it is much advantageous than rca so with that uh, the rca methodology which involves uh, here you can see the x i j the i indicates the ith country that is for example the uh, india's export of commodity j uh, say for example we can keep as paper so what is the exported quantity of paper which is divided by the country's total export that is uh, india's total export 
so this a whole divided by uh, we can compare with the either particular country or uh, the world uh, or the world so here i have what i have taken is x n j n indicates the nth country here we will be taking world's total export of the paper okay so n j indicates the total paper exported by the country by the world and the whole divided by uh, the the uh, the world's total export of all the commodities so this is how the rca can be uh, estimated and uh, i would like to show some of the results which i have uh, analyzed for my purpose so uh, in this you can see uh, i have taken the paper so uh, in this case uh, you can see the vietnam which has a greater advantage of uh, comparative advantage when compared with the rest of this countries because uh, uh, the rca value is uh, much higher but when we compare the time series of RCA, you can see there is a decline in the percentage, I mean the ratio or the index value of the, uh, the paper uh, uh, thing. So, uh, in during 2015, the index was 35 and during 19, uh, it was around the 29. So, there is a decline in the comparative advantage of the country, Vietnam. It is not in the case of Vietnam, it is also in the case of uh, India, you can see there is a decline from 5.16 to 2.90 uh, as well as uh, the China and uh, the German they had some some increase in the comparative advantage when compared with other other things so Brazil China and Germany they had a comparative advantage of uh, uh, exporting paper to the other countries so uh, this is how you can interpret the answers which you got it so followed by that I also calculated the revealed symmetric comparative advantage so uh, it in this you can see the revealed comparative advantage is uh, ranges from zero to infinite whereas uh, the rca you can see it uh, it ranges from minus one to plus one so if the country is having a value greater than or equal to one it indicates that the country is uh, comparatively advantage if it is a uh, negative value or uh, uh, equal to minus one then it is completely disadvantaged to export that particular commodity to other countries so this is how you can interpret from the rsca so the same similar case we have taken here you can see uh, the vietnam is very closer to one indicating that it does a um, comparatively advantages when compared to other countries like india brazil china and german and similarly there are the quite differences here you can see the German, China had a negative uh, uh, value index, so it indicates that they are not comparatively advantaged when compared with the uh, uh, Vietnam, uh, India and Brazil. So, uh, the thing is that uh, there, is a, there is a change in the export uh, other than these top 5 exporting countries. Uh, so, some other players are exporting uh, more number of our commodities rather than this com uh, rather than these uh, 5 countries. It indicates that some other players are uh, if, uh, exporting higher, they are gaining comparatively advantages uh, rather than this uh, country. So, what we need to do is that we need to find what are all the rest of the countries which are exporting and uh, uh, is there any country which got on a momentum in increase of exporting of uh, particularly with the paper so this is how you have to calculate the uh, the uh, uh, trade competitiveness of any product with the, the uh, other countries so uh, recently the world bank as well as the un com trade those websites they already provide the rca index as well as rsca index for each and every commodity so based on the hs cloud uh, classification you can directly take the uh, values which you required for a particular commodity so it is made available online and you can download the uh, data directly from the uh, un com trade as well as the world bank so this is our uh, video if you have any doubts on rca or rsca just make a note on the comment box uh, we will be replying it soon thank you thank you so much